Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see the first option top left hand side of your screen where it's going to say your name or your device's name. Tap on that circle and make a backup right here on iCloud. If you guys have no more iCloud space, don't worry, hook it up to your computer and make that backup right there. It's very important to do the backup. Use iTunes on PC or Finder right here on your Mac. Also, if you're having any problems with the update, same thing, just do it throughout your computer. Right now, we're just gonna go into general, which is down here. Under second option, under our second option, right underneath general will be software update. Select software update. And then we should see download and install. If you just install, don't worry about it. It probably already downloaded the update. And that's because it depends on your settings. So right now we're going to click on download and install. It is only a gig, which means only going to take a couple seconds and then a few minutes to install. Overall, you shouldn't see this more than 30 minutes. So the whole update, including download and installing will not take more than 30 minutes for most of you. Anyways, right now I'm just going to press download and install. It will ask me for a passcode if I have one. Then the download will begin. It doesn't really matter if your iPad turns off during the download process. However, if it turns off when you're installing the update, then that's a big deal because then you would have to restore it. And that means deleting everything. And since we did that backup, you could load everything back in. So although you need 50% of your battery to do the update, I still suggest even if you have more, just to hook it up to some electricity and let it charge while it's doing the update. That's just in case, especially with older devices, the battery just doesn't last as long. For now, we're just gonna wait for the download to happen. Once the download is all done, then we're gonna see the installation part where we just have to press install. Our iPad will turn off. We're gonna see a black screen, an Apple logo, a loading bar. We are just gonna see that two times and then we're done with the whole update. At this point in time, you could just leave your iPad, let it be, make sure it's ho hooked up some electricity and it's gonna install the update by itself. However, you could come back to it later on and press install yourself. All right, so once finally it's downloaded, you can install right now. It's going to verify the update. Then we're going to see a black screen, Apple logo, and a loading bar. All right, guys, as mentioned, you would see an Apple logo and a loading bar. Right after this, we are about to be done with the entire update. Like I mentioned before, it should not take more than 30 minutes in total. That's the installation plus download. So at this point, we should see that it's all done. We can go ahead and unlock. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one and we are all done. We can go into settings and just double check that everything went okay. And we should see under software update that it is in fact up to date. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.